Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Like many people out there, I have a wireless network, which allows me to connect my computers wirelessly to the network. If you don't have a wireless network, I'm sure it's just going to be a matter of time before you do pick up some kind of wireless adapter for your internet connection. And even if you only have, uh, you know, a couple computers in the house, say one is a, a mobile computer and one is a not so mobile computer, well, then it would be worth it for you to pick up a wireless network. Then the question is, is how can you run a wireless network securely? Uh, I got an email here, top five tips for using or running wireless networks securely. And uh, I'll tell you this before we go into this, uh, the securest wireless network out there is most likely a not wireless network. You're sending packets of information over the airwaves, uh, kind of like Mike TV from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You know, he kind of, you know, it's kind of like that. And uh, if someone was bound and determined, they could sniff your packets and uh, find out what you were sending back and forth. But there are various levels of security that you can apply to your wireless network. Uh, just keep in mind that, uh, you know, you're sending data out there, so there's a possibility that it could be intercepted by Bothan spies. Many of them have lost their lives uh, in uh, recent years. Hi, Chris. After years of mistrust about wireless networks and creative use of Ethernet cabling, I have now adopted a wireless network in my home for a laptop to access anywhere in the house. I have, over the past week, done a lot of research and have some tips for the community they might want to consider in relation to the setup and or use of wireless networks. Number one, encrypt it. First and most important consideration if you're thinking of running a wireless network is to make sure you have not left the network totally unsecure. And I say totally unsecured as no network is ever 100% secure, and this is especially the case with wireless networks as they allow easier access for potential unsavory characters to get in. In this case, the characters would be less alphanumeric and more, you know, mean people. An unencrypted wireless connection can allow anyone within a range of your wireless signal to immediately connect to it and start using your internet connection for personal and or criminal purposes and also access any files you may have shared on the hard drives on the machines connected to the network. There are many guides available on securing your wireless network on the internet and your router's manual should also provide a guide in doing so. A lot of the terminology and setup options may at first seem very technical to you, but the couple of hours of research or setup is valuable time to spend when your privacy is concerned. Some of my own tips about securing your connection are avoid WEP, if at all possible, W-E-P. It is an old and somewhat flawed method of securing your network and can be compromised by an attacker in a matter of minutes, hours, seconds, etc. This is not to say to avoid it completely if that's all that something may offer. Anything is better than nothing, right? Use a strong key when prompted to enter one. A strong key is something random using upper and lowercase letters and numbers and of sizable length, not the name of your pet goldfish. Unless, of course, your pet goldfish has uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers, in which case, wow, I feel sorry for that goldfish. For the more technical, hiding your SSID or filtering by MAC address will not alone be enough to stop an attacker, as both of those procedures can be worked around. A MAC address can be collected and spoofed, and an SSID easily found, so encrypt that little device. Two, be aware what you share. Most people using a wireless network, or any network for that matter, usually want to share files between computers on that network. Make sure you do not share any files in these shared areas, which are in many ways confidential or important enough that you would not want anyone to potentially see them. For example, you might want to share some MP3s on a computer to listen to on another computer in your house, which is fine. However, sharing, say, a document with your bank details, etc., is an definite no-no. If totally unsecured, anyone within the range of your wireless network can access those files without you even noticing. Securing your wireless network will 99% percent of the time stop the intrusion but as mentioned no wireless network is 100 percent secure so just avoid sharing important files i don't know if i'd ever put bank information in a document either number three be aware of public hot spots there are many wireless hot spots in coffee shops or in general wireless is everywhere and where there's an abundance of something there are usually some individuals lurking about ready to exploit it if you're thinking of or you do use these wireless hot spots there are some things to remember Turn off your shared files, even if they're only MP3s. It is still wise to make sure they cannot access anything on your hard drive. Make sure any of the sites you enter in login details are secure, 
HTTPS. This can normally be determined that way uh, or with a padlock symbol in uh, your browser window somewhere. This is because computers sharing the same network as you can with the right software see exactly what you're sending or receiving over that network unless that information is encrypted. Of course, I always uh, never, I always never, I never access any site uh, that requires uh, login details at all over a public hotspot. It's just for regular, I use it just for regular Google searching or chatting or whatnot. This also means that it's possible for someone to snoop in on what websites you're visiting or the email you are sending. Be aware that the most secure sites merely secure the login details you enter. After that, everything is visible on the network. So it's advisable to be a bit conservative on what you do on the internet in those places. It is certainly a wise idea to wait until you get home to check your bank balance online or to make an online purchase. Number four, keep your computer up to date and behind a firewall. Making sure you have your computer's operating system up to date, a virus program installed, that would be an antivirus program, I believe, and a firewall initiated on your machine should be something you should have implemented anyway. However, with the increased security risk a wireless network can expose you to, these things are totally essential for keeping you safe and secure. It's also the case I've found that users will often keep their main desktop computer up to date, but neglect a laptop that they don't use as often. These laptops are likely the candidate machine that the user will be using to access a wireless network. Number five, turn it off. Simple, yet most effective tip. If you're a moderate user, simply turn off your router or Wi-Fi part of your router when you're not using it, or schedule the wireless connection to only be on at times you'll know you'll be using it. If it's off, then your wireless network is 100% safe. Makes sense to me. All the best. This is from Latro underscore in the chat room at live.perillo.com. Uh, I still remember the early days of... Wi-Fi when it was you know first out there and we did war walking and war chalking if anybody ever did that I I was I was around when war chalking was popular and it kind of goes without saying there's going to be a wireless signal somewhere thing you got to keep in mind too and when you go to hotels or let's say airports and you see one access point that says free internet connection or free hotspot chances are it's not free that's actually someone's ad hoc network or a peer-to-peer -peer connection uh, and if you log into that or you try to go through that uh, to get to the internet, uh, you may be giving up a lot more than you uh, bargained for. So be careful with wireless networks. Anything is better than nothing when it comes to security, most certainly. So thanks again for these top five tips. My email address is chris at perillo.com. If anybody else has any other wireless network tips, network security tips, security tips in general, tips related to technology, tips related to the internet, software, hardware in general, Whatever kind of tips you got, send them over. And of course, you're also welcome to join us in the chat room where we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I've mentioned that URL before. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I think I just said that, didn't I? I, I said that twice. So anyway, if I didn't say it before, it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.